What's going on HPP fam? Welcome back. It is the end of another amazing year. Uh, got John in the background here wrenching away, doing a little exhaust manifold gasket on the header leak. Well, anyways, I wanted to bring you guys another video for the end of the year. We're going to do another top five video. Um, I really want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, welcome the new subscribers to the channel. And uh, we're going to keep pressing forward on to the new year. But uh, before we get on to it, I wanted to take a look back and touch on some of the videos that you guys really enjoyed last year or this past year. And uh, those videos, I'm going to go ahead and talk about them in no particular order. So the first video is the 2020 uh, Dodge Charger uh, Scat Pack that we did a nitrous outlet kit on. I'm going to put a link to that video right here. And... Uh, it was nice working on a new one, you know, got the ECU unlocked, had to do the um, the uh, bypass cable on that one, being that it's 18 plus as well. Uh, and I think we ended up doing a 100 shot on that car. Uh, it's always nice working on the new stuff, and uh, that car turned out really well, nice and clean. Customer is super happy with it, and uh, I think he's gone through several bottles of nitrous uh, since he's picked the car up. But uh, I'll go ahead and throw a little clip into this, the, uh, the install. And but I wanted to show you what it looked like up front here. As you can see, nice and tidy. We did cut out, trim out the side here for the fuel stuff. This one has a few extra items because it does have a fuel sensor on it for fuel pressure. And that is because this car is running the ProMax, like I said. So, got our purge line. You'll see it right there, coming out the nose. Gonna be spraying right out the front like a bull. Super cool. So our next video, um, that was a pretty popular one as well, was a 5.7 Hemi gets a Texas Speed camshaft. Uh, we do a lot of camshafts here. John has become extremely proficient at doing them, uh, which is great. And uh, we've been turning out some really nice Hemi's. Uh, the cam world has changed a lot with the Hemi's. Texas Speed releasing all their camshafts. Um, and then you know you still have your classic comp cam stuff. Uh, that we still do on occasion and some other cams, some custom cams from like MMX and stuff like that. We've done a few of those as well, but primarily we do a lot of Texas Speed and High Horse Performance camshafts. And uh, this one got a lot of lot of views. The particular car was a uh, 5.7 uh, Challenger, an uh, orange one. Uh, I'll put a link to that video right here. Uh, man, this thing sounded great. So uh, I want to take a second and show you guys a dyno run of that and uh, let you listen to how this thing was chopping down the block. Challenger with the 5.7. See here, I got the, uh, got the old idle pretty much down pat on these girls, chopping down the block. Everything's looking good. I've already made a rip on this thing. And, uh, making some power already. Our fuels are already looking good. I mean, this thing's almost done and we only a couple pulls in. So I'll let you guys hear a couple pulls. Let's get this thing wrapped up, wrap this week up. Hope everybody has a good time at We Are Mopar. And uh, let's get after it. That's where this car is heading to. Gotta love, gotta love a good cammed Hemi. So moving forward, our next video that uh, was pretty popular uh, this year was our, um, let's take the Whipple off and put a Pro Charger on. Which as you guys know here, we're a big fan of Pro Chargers. We really like them. They make good power, they're reliable. Uh, can't say enough about them. But uh, in this case, our customer, um, AKA Jigawood, uh, that car is a built 426 car and it had a Whipple on it. Uh, when he first started coming to our shop uh, from uh, I think a couple years ago now, uh, we've been maintaining that car for him and I've been in his ear about taking that Whipple off. And not that Whipples aren't uh, great and make good power, I just feel they're not as efficient as the Pro Chargers. 
uh, not in the trim that they come in on the standard kits that you guys get um, you know they they heat soak pretty bad so um, he finally took our advice and we ripped that whipple off and we put uh, I believe a D1 it may have been a D1X I'm not sure it's been a little bit since we did it uh, put that on the car and uh, made you know new horsepower record for him and uh, the, he came back about a week and a half after picking the car up and he was like, look man, I don't know why I didn't listen to you sooner. Uh, he said the car drives like factory again uh, when you're just cruising around and then when you hit the throttle, it's a monster. So he was super happy with it and glad he made the change. Uh, and a lot of you guys like seeing that content of us pulling that Whipple off and putting a Pro Charger on it. So I'll post the link to that video up here and uh, let's take a look and uh, see what the process looked like on that. We've got Jigawoods on the dyno. Gonna strap this thing down and start tuning it. We've got pretty much everything wrapped up on this thing. The Pro Charger looks gorgeous. The Holly Sniper EFI manifold looks great. We had to modify a few things, but we got her all together. Uh, this car got a D1X with a, the large race Pro Charger front mount, the um, naturally open stated uh, big red race valve, so it's going to be making some noises as she goes down the road. Um, we also put a, uh, I think it's an 18 plus front grill in this thing, and um, we still got some lights to put in, but that's low on the priority list. We want to make the horsepower first, and then we can make it pretty when we're done. We'll go ahead and get this thing strapped down. We'll start tuning on that. So that was pretty cool. Enjoyed that one. Our next one. Um, this is one that uh, a ton of you guys really enjoyed um, and I think it's one that's a very popular uh, topic this day and age and that is Torque Storm Supercharger. This video was Torque Storm Amore is what it's called. Uh, we had a, I believe the car was a 2015 Challenger with a manual gearbox and uh, he, this car was brought into us I believe just for tuning. Uh, I had another video that dropped as a torque storm one that's taken off pretty well, but just due to the time that I'm making this video, it didn't beat out this one. So we've got a couple of ones. I'll I'll post a link to the uh, to the to this video up top here. Um, but this car was a uh, uh, built 6.4 uh, that already had a torque storm on it, and he brought it to us for tuning. And uh, we ended up having to make some other changes and tidy some stuff up, but. The Torque, tor Torque Storm kits overall are, are fairly decent. The thing about them is, you know, they're uh, it's only the bracket and the blower and a few other things. So you still need to source an intercooler and piping and uh, have that stuff fabricated and, and, and put that together on the car uh, and, and supply your own fuel management stuff, i.e. your injectors and your fuel pump. Um, so they're a great option as far as, um, you know, a little bit cheaper price, but then depending on what options you go with to complete the kit you may not really be saving too much money and then as far as efficiency is concerned I feel like the Pro Charger head units are still quite superior to the Torque Storm units um, and a lot of you guys online have made comments about how you've done the smallest pulley and it'll only make five pounds and yada 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 so there's some changes and depending on what you guys do with your setups that's going to dictate uh, how efficient it is anyways and how much boost the kit makes so uh, do your due diligence do your homework uh, you can message us on uh, Facebook Instagram uh, YouTube I don't answer as many questions as I'd like to but we're very busy down here so uh, try to keep everything on Facebook it makes it a little bit more organized but that's here and over there uh, I'll post a clip of some dyno runs from the torque storm setup anyways yesterday we did work on our torque storm built motor car that uh, got brought to us for a tune and come to find out it needs a fuel pump go figure um, we found that out this fuel was running away up top uh, car was making about six seven pounds and so far with the tuning started making about 500 wheel made 509 on the last pull well, there you have it. There's some little Torque Storm action. And uh, the final video from our top five this year, uh, you already knew it was gonna be on the list, and that is uh, Hector's Twin Turbo Scat Pack. Um, that has been a, 
that particular car is one that's been with us for several years. Uh, it's kind of one of the most infamous cars in, in the fleet. Uh, and uh, it got some upgraded turbos on it. And you guys really, really enjoy that content. Everybody loves the turbo Hemis. Uh, stay tuned to the channel. Very soon we'll be taking that car back out to the track. We just recently did a transmission change in the car and everything is working extremely well no problems so um, very excited about getting that car tidied up getting it back to the track and uh, getting some new best times on it he's been loving it uh, driving it on the street almost every day and uh, setting new new draggy times and stuff and uh, having a blast with the car so we'll be taking it to the track when the track opens back up so that's exciting uh, I'll, here's the video here and uh, Let's listen to the sweet sounds of a uh, turbo Hemi for a second. All right, guys, as you just heard, she's all wrapped up and running on the new turbos. So just waiting on Hector to show up with the filters for the turbos. Get those slapped on and uh, go take this Johnny for a little test drive. Gotta love those turbo sounds. But that is gonna wrap it up for us on our top five for this year. I really appreciate you guys watching the channel and uh, commenting and it's it's been a it's been a great year. We've got some exciting news. We are finally gonna have a merch drop. We're gonna have some shirts and stuff for sale soon. Uh, just stay tuned to the website or any of our social media outlets uh, when that stuff drops. Uh, you guys will know and uh, hope you guys get some merch uh, support uh, support the shop I really appreciate it um, anyways I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas and has a happy new year and uh, we'll see you in 2022 peace